The article Social Behavior of Domestic Dogs in a Public Off-Leash Dog Park is a research article that was published in Volume 157 of Behavioral Processes in 2018. The authors include Melissa House, Rita Anderson, and Caroline Walsh. The study observed the behaviors of dogs socializing in a dog park. A group of dogs were selected to be observed through the duration of the study, and specific behaviors that the dogs commonly displayed were defined to assess how the environment affected their social behavior. Once the focal dogs entered the dog park, they were immediately studied. Just over five months ago, I adopted a miniature dachshund puppy, Toby, my inspiration for choosing this article and project. Toby is now seven months old, and his social development and his ability to interact with both dogs and humans is very important to me. Because of this, we go to the dog park every day for one to two hours. This article was a perfect opportunity to incorporate something I am really passionate about to our course content and learning objectives. The study was conducted at the Quidi Bay Dog Park in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. It involved 220 dogs, with 69 selected as focal dogs. 58% were male, with ages ranging from four months to nine years. The study followed ethical guidelines and had consent from the city of St. John's itself. Observations occurred during weekday sessions lasting approximately two hours each. Video recordings were made by two individuals, focusing on the behavior of each focal dog during a 400 second observation period. For the sake of this science storytellers project, I selected some of the most common behaviors exhibited at our local dog park to show examples of the descriptions provided in this study. By providing auditory and visual descriptions, the source becomes more accessible to a wider audience, especially to those who have never had a dog before. Snout, muzzle, contact to head is when the dog places snout or muzzle toward or on the partner's head or face. Pin is when the dog places front paws or forelegs on top of partner and or initiates open jaw contact towards partner's neck or abdominal region as partner lays belly up on the ground. Wrestling excludes simultaneous snout muzzle to a genital area and snout muzzle to head. The focal dog and partner mutually exchange any form of physical contact. This is Toby's best friend, a four month old Airedale puppy. This is the only dog that Toby will actually wrestle with, which is quite funny because there's a 20 pound difference between the two of them. Snout muzzle contact to a genital area is when the dog places their snout or muzzle toward or on the area underneath the partner's tail or mid to rear underbelly. Chasing is when the initiator follows the partner at a pace faster than walking for a minimum of two strides. Toby's favorite thing is to be chased. Exaggerated away is when the dog leaps away or towards the partner. Roll over is when the dog, from standing, rolls onto back or side with four legs pointing in air or pulled in close to the chest. The study observed the social behaviors of dogs in a public dog park, focusing on various categories such as snout muzzle contact, non-contact, joint movement, and physical contact. The findings revealed that almost all dogs engaged in snout muzzle contact, with the majority participating in non-contact behaviors, while only half were involved in physical contact. Focal dogs were noted to initiate more non-contact behaviors than they received, and there were correlations between specific behaviors, such as chasing and unidirectional physical contact. The study highlighted the complexity of canine social interactions, providing insights into the frequencies and relationships of different behaviors among dogs in a public park setting. The table of behaviors initiated and received by the focal dogs in a dog park, along with the corresponding percentages and totals from this study. For snout to muzzle contact, nearly all focal dogs at around 99% initiated snout muzzle contact with a total of 730 instances. Similarly, all focal dogs at 100% received snout to muzzle contact with a total of 890 instances. Non-contact behaviors, the majority of focal dogs, 87%, initiated non-contact behaviors, totaling 487 instances. Most common non-contact behaviors included exaggerated away, pull rear away, and hunched posture. Focal dogs also engage in behaviors like run, leap, self-present, play, bow, and sit. For joint movement, more than half of focal dogs initiated the behavior of chase, with a total of 130 instances. A significant number of focal dogs, at 78%, received this behavior of being chased, totaling 270 instances. Regarding physical contact, around half of the focal dogs, 51%, initiated various forms of physical contact, totaling 203 instances. Common physical contact behaviors included unidirectional, paw head, paw body, open jaw, and leap on. Bidirectional behavior includes a significant portion of focal dogs at 22% engaged in bidirectional behavior, specifically wrestle, with a total of 69 instances. As far as elimination goes, the majority of focal dogs, at 62%, engaged in elimination behavior, with a total of 124 instances. The study marks a significant contribution to our understanding of canine behavior in off-leash dog parks. By shedding light on the social interactions among dogs in a high dog density environment, the study unveils patterns of behavior that align with proposed 
communication functions in dogs, such as information gathering, attention getting, and social mimicry. These findings hold broader implications for the field of biology, offering valuable insights into the communicative strategies of domesticated dogs. Beyond the scientific realm, the study resonates with the non-scientific world by enhancing our comprehension of canine social dynamics, potentially fostering improved interactions between dogs and their owners in public spaces. The few behaviors that Toby and his friends demonstrated, which one do you think was a defensive tactic, and why? How does this article's study differ from the asynchronous zoo lab, 